As mentioned in the previous video about updating your branch, clicking the Update from Master button begins the process of comparing the files in your branch to the files in Master. Sometimes this process will not result in any conflicts, which means that the work you've done on your branch and the changes that happened in the master files did not have any overlaps. When you do encounter a conflict, this usually means that your colleague updated some artboards in master and you also updated those same artboards in your branch. Abstract surfaces these differences so that you can choose what changes to keep and what changes to discard in your branch. For example, let's say that master contains artboards with designs at the high fidelity stage. Your branch, on the other hand, has those same artboards still in the wireframe stage, but with updated copywriting. In order to complete the update to your branch, you'll need to decide which artboards you'd like to keep. The wireframes with correct copy, or the high fidelity designs with outdated copy. You can choose to resolve conflicts one by one, or in batches. There are a few things that are important to know about this process. First, the choice you make on the Merge Conflict screen only has an immediate impact on your branch. The artboards you choose to keep will reflect those changes in the files on your branch only. Second, after you complete the Merge Conflict Resolution screen, you can continue to work in your branch. That also means that you have opportunities to correct some of the changes after you make decisions about what artboards to keep. And third, eventually when you do merge your branch later, you will bring those artboards along with you. That also means that when you merge, you will overwrite those artboards on master. So it's important to be aware of this when you make the decision about what to keep in your branch. The most obvious action that creates a merge conflict in abstract is when two or more designers work on the same artboard in the same file. These are visual changes that you can see when you compare designs. Visual changes that could cause a merge conflict include, but are not limited to, adding, removing, resizing, or moving around elements on an artboard, overriding symbols with different text or styles, and anything else that you can think of that would be an obvious visual change to an artboard. There's also a lot of data inside a design file that can be altered while you're working, and these changes can lead to conflicts even if it looks like nothing was changed. We call these non-visual changes, and they can be difficult to notice. Non-visual changes that could cause a merge conflict could include, but again are not limited to, adding, removing, renaming or updating a file, or the pages or artboards inside a file, or adding and removing layer styles or text styles, or anything else that might have to do with data inside the file that's not necessarily a noticeable visual change. So now that you know the causes of merge conflicts and the process of resolving them, here's a few tips on how to minimize or avoid them. Don't change a file unless it's part of the task you're working on. The odds of running into conflicts at merge are higher if you've impacted too many files, especially ones other people might be working on. So keep an eye on what your teammates are doing and only work on the files you need to. Try not to delete anything like artboards or pages in a file on the parent branch until child branches are merged. Be aware of the list of visual and non-visual changes that we just discussed so that you can keep track of the other aspects of a file that you or a teammate may have altered. And when updating your branch from master, only choose your artboard when you know for sure that you've made a change on that artboard. In other words, if you aren't sure, select to keep the one from the master or parent branch Embrace this as a moment of reflection on the work done, and go ahead and talk to the other person if you still aren't sure which to keep. Regardless of how carefully you work, conflicts are normal and they do happen. Here's a mini exercise that you can do with your team. Start by identifying some situations in your team's workflow where you could anticipate that merge conflicts might happen, and then think about how you might resolve them. Create guidelines around how to work together to avoid those conflicts or to understand the steps to take after resolving merge conflicts to make sure that you can continue working smoothly. For example, 
If you have copywriters with contributor suits in Abstract, and they make child branches off of your branches to work on copy, while other designers work on the layout and visual changes in a parent branch, you could reasonably expect that you might end up with some merge conflicts. Knowing this ahead of time, you can create those guidelines around how to work together to avoid them or to make sure that you can resolve them afterward. I've also included a few other questions at the bottom here for things that you can think about while you're going through this exercise. <laughs>